So let me just give you my definition of arts versus activism is that it's art plants the seed and activism runs with it. Creating a climate for change. The word climate has two meanings, a literal meaning and a metaphorical meaning. The literal meaning is about the weather conditions in a particular place, whether it tends to rain constantly or is mostly sunny with scattered showers. The metaphorical meaning is about public opinion, about prevailing attitudes in a community to an issue or situation. Totalitarian governments might cultivate a climate of mistrust, for example, as a way of manipulating people. The shared attitude that people have is as much a part of the experience of living in a particular community as the weather is. If we bring these two meanings together, we could say that, at the moment, there's a climate of both fear and complacency amongst the public about the climate crisis. The physical environment is changing in extremely worrying ways, but the world's mental outlook is mostly stuck in a rut. To do something effective about the literal climate, we need to change the metaphorical climate. We need to change the prevailing attitudes people have, the way they normally think about things, to offer alternative visions of society and the world, which will help us adapt our culture so that we can then adapt our relationship with nature. And to do that, we can look at the way that the arts and literature both reflect, but also shape the way we see the world. Art has the capacity to transcend, and you can you can you, art can express ideas um, which cannot be simplified to s slogans and words, um, and I think that's that. I think that's the key. Scientists have been saying for years, warning us for years about what's happening, and somehow or other, those messages have been far too much ignored uh, by anybody in power, but also by the general public. And, and it's, it's, it's in a way easy enough to do that because unless you can actually see it happening around you very vividly on a daily basis, uh, it will pass you by, which is why storytelling comes in. You have an opportunity to learn the impact as opposed to just the science. So you, there's something you can connect to personally. You can see how it affects somebody's life, which is much more powerful because you have a more holistic understanding of the problem as opposed to, to just understanding the technical aspect of it or the science of it. We're a storytelling species, and that means we are a species that also wants to hear stories. And for me, they've always been my way into anything I'm curious about or don't understand or want to explore in more depth. The activism for me is part of a cultural shift which I feel is, is ongoing and involves lots of different people from lots of different disciplines. Uh, so we're just part of a giant jigsaw. Activism is the closest way to go from A to B and the arts can't do that, but the arts can build the foundation that will then allow people to take action. more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.